<sighs> oh, I almost forgot to turn the bot on. up and running you're up and running there jackpot okay we're looking good we're looking good Good. That was good. Move you over. Oh, for fuck's sakes! One second. Okay, now it's fixed. I am special. I am special. I am just. I am not very good at this, okay? Your boy is, uh, is dumb. He's really dumb. Oh god, is he so dumb. Anyways, the ad's starting in 12 seconds, so, uh, we'll get ready for that. Hey, now, I'll have this up and running properly in a second, because, <laughs> god, I'm dumb today. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. The ad's gonna start, so we're just gonna wait that ad out. Oh, God. It's not my day. It's been a long day. I've done a lot of shoveling today. Oh. Oh. What a fucking day. What a fucking day. Come on, pre roll. Start your garbage. Yeah, boys, it's a, it's a here we go again. Yeah, forgive the fuckery. I'm uh, in the middle of shifting things around, switching, uh, fixing up some stuff in OBS. So <sighs> it's it's gonna be a fucking trial. The ads in progress. Just a heads up, it's gonna be a minute and a half that we get started. As soon as the ad finishes, we get going. Not much I can really do about it, unfortunately. Because, God, I've got some fucking premium cringe for you tonight. And a bit of a learning experience. <laughs> Any second now. Any second now. Okay, ad's over. We're good to go. That's the whiteboard. There we go. Now I should really resize so the whiteboard fits it perfectly, but I've got some gems for you tonight, kids. 
We got some real fucking premium shit. Welcome back. I, uh, I'm always very careful about that ad. Because I know it, it kind of fucks the start up. But I know a lot of you guys don't swarm in at the start. So it's like, you know... I can cheese the system a little bit. So that way it ensures people coming in don't see the ad right away. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta do what you gotta do. So anyways... We're gonna start with something nice and fucking amazing. I... I don't have words for what this one is. I don't have words. Cause this is something fucking else. Like, yeah. So... Oh my god. Someone put their gun down and they did this. They put their gun down, the trigger got caught, and this is what happened. Look at this thing. It's fucking huge. And look how thick that is. I... How do you not hang your gun up? Like, hang your gun up. Put your gun in the in a uh, fucking holster that's usually attached to welding tables, like in or in welding booths. There's usually a, a fucking hook. Yeah, they basically did. What happened here is they put their gun down, the trigger got pressed, and it just started fucking going and did not stop until someone noticed. How you don't notice this is just beyond me, but clearly he didn't have a very high wire speed because it's not, it's a big puddle, but it's not a monstrous puddle. But it was enough to melt the fucking cup, uh, nozzle, I should say, sorry, melt the fucking tip inside. <laughs> I had no idea this happened to 27 year olds. Anyways, that's a brass tip and a brass cup uh, nozzle there, and they both are melted. They're fucking gone. So that was hot enough to melt brass. That's clearly a steel alloy mix somewhere in there. And yeah, they, this literally just fucking melted shit in there and it's gone. This entire fucking piece here is trash. It's garbage. There's nothing you can do with it. That's just a fucking art piece now, is all it is. Someone fucked up so royally that's just a fucking art piece now. It's amazing, to be completely honest. I've never seen something like this. This is just, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? So, we're going to move on to the next one. I got a fun one for us tonight. So, I want you to spot the problem here when I play this, okay? I want you to predict what kind of stupid shit this guy is going to do. Because this little welder right here is where the problem is. And it's kind of amazing and it had me dying laughing watching this. Nope. I I'm just going to let you guys keep guessing, but this is a two minute video. So... I am not an automotive welder for the record, so I don't know how I would risk doing this, but it's something else. <laughs> yep. Yes, he caught it on fire internally. <laughs> and he doesn't notice yet. <laughs> he hasn't noticed yet. <laughs> it's just what the fuck. No one's noticed. And this is a minute into this video. There's still another minute left. Let's get it. Let's get it. 
Thanks, bud. <laughs> yes! Someone finally noticed. <laughs> They're trying to fucking put the fire out. It's like, there's no fucking putting that out. Oh my god, you idiot. He opened the fucking door. But just like... <laughs> They're throwing water at Oh my god. I knew this one would be a hit tonight. Yeah, fun thing kids. When you're welding, things get really hot. Things get really hot. Like they're fucking really hot, guys. <laughs> Let's watch that again, because it's just fucking amazing. Like, how in the fuck do you not notice this? If he was doing a couple of quick little zaps, yeah, he could get away with it. See, right there, that was the first sign. 20 seconds in was the first sign of fire. You can see it. Yeah, you saw it right there a second ago. It's like the frame between 19 and 20. Yep, there it is. Yep, right there. There's the fire. So 20 seconds in, and he's already set fire to this thing. That is how fast metal heats up when you're welding. Like, to give you an idea, occasionally there'll be pieces of wood kicking around the shop from pallets that broke, whatever, and I like to occasionally grab one for a giggle and set it on my welding team. So as I'm working... After I finish a bead, I'll actually tap the wood with my uh, gun and see how far I can burn into the piece of wood. Like, just, they're just tiny little pieces, so like if it did catch fire, I could stomp it out pretty fast. But it's just like, are you fucking serious? Holy shit. And I punch through the wood pretty fucking fast. So the fact that this guy didn't notice, didn't even think about this. As I said... If he was doing like one or two small tacks, that's fine. If he was doing a, a, be a small bead, that's fine. But no, it's very clear he's doing a good bit of welding. And he didn't follow the, one of the fucking basic rules of check your fucking material. So in this case, he set fire to a fucking car and no one noticed for about a minute and a half. I got no more words for this. Like, I just got no fucking words. It's pretty amazing, isn't it, guys? It's pretty amazing. How this guy still has a fucking job is just like, what? It's beyond me. It really is. It really is. It's kind of fucking amazing, to be honest. A minute 18, they still haven't noticed. I think he may have noticed there, yeah. Yeah, he, that's the guy who noticed, right in the back. He notices... This guy right here, I think. Or this guy. This guy right here. Yeah, he's coming up, and then he sees it. Yeah, a minute after, pretty much. It's kind of fucking amazing. Like, I've got no words for this. I really don't. This is just... How the fuck are you a functioning are you a functioning weld shop or automotive repair shop and you don't keep an eye out for shit like that? I ain't got words. I ain't got fucking words. It's just what the fuck. So Alright. Now we're on to a bit of a learning segment for you guys. Okay, so in this scene, I have spotted at least three things wrong. I want you guys to take a second and figure it out. 
This is a little bit of learning for you guys, to spot how to spot some really bad welds. These are pretty obvious ones, but you're going to learn a little bit tonight. It's time for some learning, kids. Take a peek. What do you see? Yeah. Yeah! They didn't clean that up. So, let's start first. It's pretty obvious. It's obviously these parts end up here. And down there, obviously, a bit too. But I've only got pictures of a couple of them. So, this is very clearly not done by a proper welder. I want you to take a look at these. We've got discontinuities all over this. It's awful. If this was done properly, what would have happened is he would have done a nice tack to there, whatever. He's got all it prepped up. Nice little bead there. Nice little bead down there. Nice little bead right there. Maybe if it wasn't all bolted together, flipped it over, done a nice little bead there, and it would have been nice, clean. You wouldn't have spare wire fucking protruding off that you paint over. Do you know how easy this is to remove? You grab a pair of needle nose, you grip on, you just pull. It's gone. You get a scraper, it's pull, it's gone. Hell, you can scrape with the fucking needle nose pliers. It's gone. There's nothing left. Very clearly right there, too. Like, honestly, if you were doing this, you get a wire brush or a wire cup and you just run it over quickly with a, a five inch grinder. Just run it over nice and quick. It cleans, it gets all the crap like this off, spatter right there. It's awful. Then we have the lower one, which he clearly fucked his angle up. And instead of having nice straight run, we've got a gap there. That's, it. That's an opening. That's a straight structural weakness. There's nothing holding that section together. So if you, you were probably to hit it this air thing with a hammer, there would be your breaking points. Right there. That would be where it goes. Like, come on. Another uh, pleasant view up here. More awfulness, guys. More spatter. This is a double run, so he clearly fucked up there and he wanted to redo it. Some more right there. It's just disgusting. Like, this is awful. Who would do this? At least when I fuck up a weld, I grind it out, and I, I fucking hide its existence. The weld may look a little bit bigger than it should be, but I hide its existence. You don't know I fucked up that bad. It's gone. I'm at least clever like that. This? This guy was not a welder. He just wasn't a welder. He didn't give a shit. That's what happened here. This is what happened here. He just didn't give a shit. And it's awful. It's fucking awful, kids. I got no words for this one. Like, how you humanly can think this is an acceptable thing for a fucking home is beyond me. And then we have the upper areas. Just like, this looks like... This looks like just a cat turd, is what it is. It looks like a cat turd. Like, there is no no consistency in speed. There's no consistency in, in how you've deposited it, and there's nothing. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually off-center somehow. I mean, over here is looking okay, at least. But, like, yeah. He didn't grind it down. He didn't clean things up. It's just hideous all around. Like, you could... It would have taken someone to grind this down with either a hard stone or a flapper. 15 minutes. 15 minutes of post. Like, a weld section, anyways. Like, not just one side, but both sides. You hit it with the, the hard stone to bring it down a bit. Then you run the flapper disc over it to clean it all up. Make it nice and fucking pristine and smooth. Then you paint it after it's cooled down. But yeah. 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 This is this is actually just some of the fucking worst welding I've seen in a residential home. Why you want this in your own home that you have to look at every single fucking day is beyond me. That you think this is okay to look at every single day is beyond fucking me. Like... Is this fucking open? Is this fucking open? 
These are open posts, too. What the fuck? What the fuck? Why would you want open posts right there? Are you putting a fucking baby gate in? What the fuck? That's too high for a fucking baby gate. Some kid will fucking just walk right through that. Crawl right under. God damn it, I fucking hate amateurs like this. Fucking pisses me off. You're a dick. You're a dick. Well, it's a good thing because we're almost done Cursed Welds for the night. I only had a couple special ones. So who remembers this one? Oh, I should mention, you guys are going to enjoy this. So, I was looking over the contract requirements for the Raid Shadow Legends um, fucking sponsor stream. Oh, shit, I said, I said, fuck! I kept cursing. It's going to be a hard one. It Cursing is second nature to me. I'm going to bump the cursing cost off. I really do. <sighs> so, the Raid Shadow Legends stuff. I'm not allowed to curse on stream during it. I'm not allowed to drink on stream during it. Or at least not specifically say I'm drinking during it. You guys are going to enjoy watching me stumble over my words. You guys are going to really enjoy that stream. Um, I should mention, Tuesday and Wednesday, that's going to happen. If you do not want to tune in for Tuesday and Wednesday, I will hold no blame. Because at the end of the day, your boy wants to get paid. And this is a chance to basically get a good chunk of change to fund the emotes. Otherwise, they probably won't happen till like November. Or not sorry, November. Like February, if I'm lucky. Because of uh, money stuff, so... There's nothing much I could do about that. So this is like a, a, a good little shortcut that I don't mind doing. And I mean, hey, you know what? It could, it, it'll be at least entertaining for you guys. So, back to the weld. Who remembers this monstrosity? Who remembers this one? Because, uh... Yeah, yeah, we did this a couple weeks ago. It was the uh, climbing wall rack, remember? With the this is the support beam for it right here. Who remember? So yeah, you guys should remember this one. We did this a couple weeks ago. Ah, oh, gravely, you missed this one. Yeah, um, this is holding a rock wall for climbing in a gym. This is the one of these support beams right here. <coughs> this is why I made sure to bring this one back out. As you see, gravely. That weld is garbage. Whole... Yeah. So it gets worse, guys. It gets worse. Because the guy posted an update. This is the other side. This is the other side of it. It gets so much worse. Let's start from the top, kids. Yeah. So we got smeared shit up here. I don't care about the cursing one right now. I have to describe this properly. We've got fucking little baby pet fucking rabbit shit down here. We got more rabbit shit down here. And we got more rabbit shit down here. We clearly this is where an arc strike happened. More arc strikes happened here. This was clearly done with stick, by the way. So this is only one spot. It gets worse here. This is the mounting bracket. This is the other side of this thing. This weld is okay. So clearly this is the other piece. Yeah, yeah, it, it looks good to me, too. Apparently, if I cover my face, I go tiny coat. Hey. And I'll trigger tiny coat on demand. <sighs> Fuck. 
I've been shoveling all day too, and it's not fun. Just, just look at this. This is a horror. So, I need to quickly show you what a good weld looks like, because you need to see the comparison to this. Like, you guys have to see how bad this is. This is what a good stick weld looks like. Look how nice and smooth that is. And when you cut it in half, it looks almost like a solid piece of metal now because of the fusion. Like, that looks really nice, doesn't it? That looks really good. That's pleasing on the eyes and everything. This is not pleasing on the eyes. This is not anything but pleasing on the eyes. This is cursed is what this is. This is cursed. This is how someone dies. This is how you get people to die. All it takes is enough use and this rock wall is going to fly off, is going to fall, and is going to kill somebody. It takes one bad impact, and th this entire section of weld is gone. It's just gone. There's not even structural paint holding this together. There's nothing. Just some really, really, really big pieces of rabbit shit. This is horrifying. If you... Like, you know what? Here, I'm going to pull up a good MIG weld as well, quickly. Ah, this is actually perfect. So, just a, a bit more of your learning experience. A nice normal weld bead looks like stacked dimes. Or at least it looks like it fills in, it's nice and smooth. It can look like this, but for the most part, you have a generally a, a stacked dime perspective. This is a not a nice weld bead. It looks like baby shit. Again, not a pleasant weld bead. This guy was doing it too fast. This one was too slow. And this one was too far away. It's just a quick little learning sidetrack here just to show you how bad this really is. That will kill somebody. There's no way about it. There is no way about it. So yeah, that's going to be it for weld reviews tonight. Give me about five six minutes to set up and we are going back into the radius tonight i want to mess around with the overlay stuff still i have not got a chance to change it over from left eye to right eye due to a few issues that happened uh the steam vr window acts a little weird in obs so i still need to muck with it a bit more but for the most part we're looking pretty good. Uh, you guys can cope with a bit of more left eye work. And yeah, we're just going to go jump right into that. Give me about five, six minutes. I'm going to run a quick ad so that way we can take advantage of this. And yeah, back in a few.
There we go. There we go. Okay, am I coming through now? Yeah, I'm coming through now. Okay, uh, that was fucking weird. Shit was just not working. I hooked the index up and it's like, hey, I'm not gonna work now, fuck you. And you're just like, son of a bitch. I forgot to do one last thing. There we go. Sure, I get my fucking... There we go. Okay, we're live. That was annoying. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm coming through okay, right? Everything's coming through fine? Everything sounds fine, everything looks fine. Okay, we're good to go. Yep, so uh, we're still going to fuck around with this uh, sweet little setting. Uh, uh, yeah, we can do that. We're still going to fuck around with the uh, fun little found footage overlay. Just so you guys know. Uh, one day we're good. I have not finished calibrating it yet. So, like... It'll look fine to me, but you guys will only see partially. It's going to come out of my left eye constantly. I need to finish testing some stuff out because OBS did not like the val the VR display thing. So I still need to mess with that a bit. But we're getting there. It's going to be fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, in the meantime, oh yeah, I should probably eat. Let's get back to let's go make some money because we have an AKM to feed. Poop knife, best knife. back. All right, we're good to go. We're just doing some light raiding to, uh, Feed the AKM. Because the AKM needs to get upgraded. Yeah, that was weird. Uh, so, my index there acted all a little fucky. I, uh... What was it? Connected it. I had no connection, nothing. It was just fucking weird. I still have my detector, right? Yeah, I still do. Okay. So 
something I want to do quickly before I do I forget to do anything. Check the condition of my stuff. Thirty-seven. Okay. Yeah, I just want to quickly. Uh, so with this overlay, you can make some really fucking cool-looking stuff. So it looks like almost like there's a camera just sitting out there watching the radius. Hence why I took the helmet off because the last time I did a pan around, it was like it was the person looking. This time I wanted to get this just this shot right here of the view coming through this uh, he, this little fucking gash in the uh, ground looking at the fucking cursed basketball in the middle of the radius. I'm weird like that, okay? I'm weird and I like taking... Because especially with this camera setup that I absolutely adore... I'm having a lot of fun with it, to say the least. visible fucking walls right there or something. Yeah, I'm definitely going to keep this camera thing going. One sec. I got to do one thing. Because it's, it's not helping the situation. As much as I don't want to, I actually probably that kind of entire thing fucked everything up. Tiny coat's got to go. Because uh, I'll probably have to retake that entire sequence. <laughs> I just realized. Because tiny coat in the corner fucks things up. Completely forgot about him. That son of a bitch. Alright, so the plan is pretty simple. We're raiding here, we're going into the village. Fairly simple classic raid. <laughs> yeah, missed him. Not good at shooting at range. Not good at range.
don't mind if I do. Really? Come on. I have pretty good luck starting with this building, too. Oh shit, we got a rift. Okay. Now we can be calm again. <sighs> that was very concerning. Because a rift can go multiple ways. Like, it could be, oh, yeah, this isn't a big deal. To instantly back to, oh, hey, guess what? You've got mimics up your ass. And they're angry. They're really angry. But also, a rift means snacks for 200 bucks. It's kind of like a, both a, a bonus and a negative. Because if you don't locate it quick enough, you have a bad day. But if you locate it quick enough, you have a great day. You have an absolutely great day if you locate one quick.
So I hope everyone had a decent weekend. Cause yeah. It snowed a lot here if you guys if you guys haven't been listening to me. It snowed a fucking lot here. No, nothing there. Okay. That's actually a really good thing. So we are 100% going to be camp trying I think we might camp out in the village area. Just because I did promise you guys a camp out. And I still have not delivered on that camp out yet. Oh, damn, it's already even loaded. Well, if I need a Tokarov, I've got a Tokarov now. Get that flashlight. Oh, hey, there's something else in there. A bullet! Makarov. Bolteki. Greenhouse stove. Okay, we can check that. Yeah, that, that Makarov's getting kept because that's that's an upgrade Makarov. It's toilet Makarov. Shit. Fucking indeed. Whoopsie. Keeping the toilet macker off. And who doesn't love a toilet gun? Almost done. Still four. Okay, we're looking good still. We're looking good.
There's a lot of fucking lighters here. A lot of lighters. I'm actually kind of shocked some of you guys haven't even commented on the fact we got a toilet gun. Kind of shocked. Before we go into the village, I need to get one thing out of that one house there. Let's just check this UAZ quickly too while we're at it. No, nothing. Oh, hey, shotgun ammo. Maybe we'll find a shotgun in the, in the village. Who knows? Who knows? Well, here's a question, guys. Do you want to camp out in the factory or the village? Which one do you think would be more terrifying to camp in? Really? No one's got any opinions on this one? Hey, I'm gonna do whatever I want then. I'm just making sure you guys are paying attention here. Not that I doubt you guys, but it's like... Well, the vi factory is you're camping out in an industrial place. The village is you're camping out in a fucking spoopy abandoned village, so... It's really your call. I don't have the gas mask, so we can't go into that today. No, oh, he spotted me. Hey, I just want to make sure you guys are still enjoying yourselves. It's like, I know I'm weird like that. I can't help it. I really care about uh, your guys' entertainment. And if I'm not providing it, I worry. I can't help it. Well, you guys are my audience, and I appreciate you being here. So it's like, I want to make sure you guys are having fun. As gay as that sounds. Stove, greenhouse. All right, greenhouse. Got it. We're going to the stove. One mimic over there. I want to get that minute before we get anybody else.
Okay, they know we're here now. I'm spawn. There's another mimic. Yeah, if we want to go to the factory, we're going to have to rearm more, a little bit better. Oh, fuck a rift. I mean, it's not really no fuck. No point wasting ammo on it, to be completely honest. Yeah, okay, so we're probably gonna head to the factory, I think. Because I'm right near a fucking shortcut out. I'd rather take advantage of the shortcut, get out, get my loot. Uh, do some selling, you know, shit like that. That's a couple hundred bucks. And this way, we can at least kit out the AKM. Go home, kit out the AKM. I know I'm not being super ultra thorough in the fucking village here, but it's like I kind of want to be quick. Greenhouse, okay. Stove. Oh, okay, then. What is that? A 74. Fucking based. game. We're gonna quickly save because I don't want to risk fucking losing that. 
Because now we have to go home. Because that's a fucking win in my book. <laughs> in a fucking goddamn bog. What the fuck? What the hell is going on in this village? And don't give me my secrets, nurse. You little shit. What the hell? AKM magazines too? What the fuck? What the hell was going on in this village? Cause that's fucking... Like I need the AKM ammo, don't get me wrong. But I'm just like, what the fuck? What is going on in this village? I mean, at least we're come walking out of here with a lot of extra cash. And we're right near the shortcut out, so we can't go to the factory 100%. too risky right now, considering we're so fucking dummy thick. Seriously, this is like the fucking fattest load of fucking equipment I think I've stolen so far. God damn. Here I was like, oh yeah, we'll just clean the fucking gun, vibe in the fucking creepy town, creepy uh, factory at night. No, oh no, we're fucking going home with a goddamn AK-74. We're not even actually finished sweeping this area either. I don't mind sweeping through it at night because it's like, I'm not too worried overall. Especially because we killed most of the things. Like we're rocking camera traps, we're rocking... What the fuck? Who stores all these bolts in their pans? Is this a GA just the HMAC? It is! Oh, wow! That's actually kind of useful. This is, uh, weird. Very weird. Like, this shouldn't be this good of a run. But it is. And yeah, we're luckily right close to the exit. There's 
fucking slugs up here. <gasps> fucking bunch of shotgun shells up here. What the fuck? This is so fucking weird. This is so fucking weird, man. Well, has I'm not too worried because one, I've got a shit ton of fucking skill sticks. I've got a shit ton of ammo. We're right near the exit. And even if we lost things. We'll be okay. Because we can get most of this back. Okay, we are officially in the red. Okay, we have to, have to we can't carry anymore. We're going home. There we go. Now we can start moving home safely. Literally, we're just skirting the fucking limits. We might encounter one more ghost man, one more mimic. But I am not too worried. Because this is why. <sighs> We're safe. Safe and secure, guys. We did it. <sighs> that was tense. Well, not really super tense, but like... Oh god, oh god, I am so fat with loot right now, if I die... I will hate myself. Kind of tense. <laughs> Jesus Christ. and keeping the fucking Spetsnaz machete. Place the poop knife with a less poop knife.
What upgrades does this one have, anyways? Grenade launcher mount, AK barrel mount, and a dovetail mount. Still pretty good. Yeah, toilet mac. Gotta keep that. Because how can you say no to toilet mac, Rob? That thing's fucking funny. Oh, yes. I don't need this. That's about everything I can really sell right now. Oh, no. Forgot that one. Not bad. Hey, 2142. Fucking A. I am pretty happy with that. Pretty damn happy with that, guys. number there. Can't really do much with that. These are 9 by 19s This is the one we really want to take with us. Because, yeah, once we get this guy a little bit more fixed up, this is who we're taking with us. Oh, well, it's already fixed up, so. You know what? I think we got enough money to actually start to equipping it, so why the fuck not? Don't get me wrong. I love this little guy, but... This SMG has served its time. She's been a good girl, but... Gotta put her back. Because we're taking the big dog out. Okay, this is Sniper AP ammo. Let's start piling that over there, I guess. I have got a box for it, so I was just kind of going to sit there. I hope the game doesn't lose its shit over that.
clean this up. I mean, we've been really lucky lately. We found an AKM under a fucking truck in the last run. We just found a 74. In this run. I'm feeling pretty confident, guys. I think we're doing pretty good. We're fully armored. Clean magazines. That's good enough. And I definitely feel that if I have to go through this many fucking mags of my fucking pistol, things are fucked up. Like, I fucked up pretty bad if things if I have to switch off into all five magazines of my pistol. Like, at that point, you're just, you're fucked. There's no way about it. Things are not in a good place. Things are just not in a good place at that point. Okay. Remember, kids, dirty magazines means jams, misfires, and just bad days. Not a full load of ammo, yeah. I shouldn't need to take these F1s, so I'm just gonna leave them behind. 100% don't need shotguns. Leaving that behind. That's an empty box, I don't need to carry that with me. Emergency repair kit. Good times. Let's go see what the tunes say. That was like some number station USFC, shit. See, Explorer 12, Log 8 13, Frank. Fragments are humanoid in appearance, although it is unclear whether the material they are composed of is biological in origin. We have observed over time that the bodies of fragments. UNPSC, Explorer 12, Log 10 6, Distortion Anomaly. Distortion anomalies appear to produce an area. Not gonna worry about that. Alright, I'm gonna quickly check what I can. Can do to upgrade this thing. Come on. Seriously? God damn, that was annoying.
dovetail or rail B. Okay, so we can get a laser pointer, weapon flashlight. I need to switch to a rail B. <laughs> uh, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. Hey, chicken. I'll hydrate in a second. I'm checking something very important. Two hundred fifty bucks, guys. We could put a grenade launcher on this. I'm not gonna lie. We could put a fucking grenade launcher on this, but then we we need to sell some other stuff. I'm gonna. Pro I do have to switch it out fucking to a rail B, fucking um, because there's no way I can. I want to use any of the dovetail stuff. I'm thinking we sell that AK. 74 we got keep using the AKM because it was already pre-upgraded when I found it I can get the rip the Viper off the front of the fucking the other one so we got a fucking sight at least uh Put the laser on it if we wanted to. Uh, we need to get food for it first, sadly. Uh, yeah, seven six thirty nine. Okay. Yeah, we need to get food for this baby first. I think people understand that. that. Bruh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not much of an AK guy. Alright, we're grabbing a drink now. One sec. Ugh. I know. I know. Fucker. Okay. Got a little food for the baby. Yeah, fuck it. I want to see the if we can sell off that uh, 74. How much we'd get for it. Because it's like... 
you know. Or I could even sell the shotgun off, honestly. First things first, though. And you would probably be right. If we're gonna sell this sucker off because she's not in great shape. She's only got the basic upgrades. The other one ha was at least upgraded. Cause I'm gonna be completely honest with you, Has. Unfortunately, Canadians can't have fun guns. Well, I just did. What are you going to do about it, chicken? He's American. <sighs> oh, that is satisfying. Tide comes in nine hours, so we did a pretty good job, I'd say. Good girl. That was a good little gun right there, guys. That was a really good little gun. She served me very fucking well. We're not even gonna try and fucking rush the tide. Five hours. Sleep in another day. Man. I don't know why it was being difficult. It 
It's a new knife. It's not as poopy. It's only slightly poopy. See? We changed the poop knife. Alrighty. Our gear is getting a little roughed up and get taking all those shots, so not much we can do there. We're going back to the village, and we're going to fuck some things up with our AK. Because it's been a fucking age and a half since we had it, as well we've ever had a full fucking caliber rifle. Really? There we go. Holy shit, we put him down. Oh, I like. I like. Nice thing is, the village reset. We can commence our purging. did some fucking work. What are we doing? God. I am happy as fuck. We got ourselves a good fucking gun now. And now we just need to upgrade it some more. Like I can actually do some reach out and touch shit now. Cause before it was like, yeah, good fucking luck with the 9x18. buy more ammo or even consider going to the factory this is the emergency magazine if I gotta use that I'm fucked I mean, I can't put it in my fucking... Man, that sucks.
god, I hate that. Game just fucking jumps. Because for some, besides auto saves, like, oh god! Okay, well, we're not gonna keep looting like crazy in here. Because we don't have time. Because I need to start heading off soon. <laughs> Since it's pretty fucking late, guys. It's pretty fucking late for me. Especially because I gotta, you know, work in the morning. And I don't wanna be too wired. So, uh, remember, we have a terrible thing. Damn it, nothing again. We've got a terrible thing coming up on Tuesday. It'll be the infamous first sponsored stream. And I really hope you guys can make it. Again, if you guys can't make it, that's fine. I understand. Not everyone wants to watch your boy fucking sell out. Make a little extra side cash. Hopefully enjoy himself, you know? I get that. So you'll be getting extra streams this week because of that. Because I want to make sure it's done in a prop, pr prompt fashion. I don't know why it doesn't let me just grab the damn fucking flashlight every time. I saw yellow in there, or orange. Corpse or a chest? Corpse! Okay. I think what we'll do is... Remember how we got rocked at the, um, what was it? That one tower over there? We tried to scale it, or we tried to go over there, and we just got fucking hell rocked by the one guy with the SMG. Ooh, hey, fucking special chest. And we got a shotgun at it. So, we're gonna... Go. Ow, 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 shit, ow, fuck, ow. Okay, I did not... I really gotta get my probes out. Really? Leggy boy. That's a spawn. It's not fucking doing anything. I'm not gonna ask questions. Yeah, that's not a leggy boy. It's a walky boy.
Yeah, it didn't go in, go in there. But now they know we're here. Shit, no spawn. Holy fuck! What? Fuck! This is actually super tense. up here. God, I hate that! The constant talking fucking skeezes me out. Actually, te tensed up so much, my neck is actually like kinked for a second. Like, I actually hurt. This is super tense, guys.
I think they're on the roof. Well, this was at least worth going to. Gotta find a way up. Like I'm trying to like, yeah, I kind of want to, you know, get off, relax, unwind a little. But now it's like I'm in a fucking life or death struggle. Yeah, they're on the roof. get up there. Okay, I don't know how I can throw grenades well. I have to go underhand? It's an SMG guy. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Ah! Got him. All right, take care then. Take care, chicken. Sorry if I didn't see that there. It's just, this is fucking tense as shit. it myself, but I imagined what it would be like. The vertigo, the awe. <laughs> there were some boys I knew who claimed to have made the climb. I almost believed them. 
but they kept arguing about particulars. How far out they could see and oh, that. Okay. Now there's nothing to see. Were you from around here? Was Pachorsk your home like it was mine? Or did you come here later? For work? For love? Maybe you only planned on being here for a year or two and then going home, wherever home was for you. Or maybe you plan to emigrate? Leave the country and never return? I know people like that too. Oh, I'm sorry. It's cruel of me to ask all these questions when you don't even know your name. No matter. We'll think of a name for you. Really? Maybe Dima or Maxim? Find me and we'll figure it out together. Oh, God damn it, it's doing that fucking stupid bug again. Really? God, that's so fucking frustrating. All right, we're doing this. Oh god. Oh god, I hate this climb. Yeah, I'm glad I blopped that fucking mimic before I came up here, because Jesus Christ, that would be horrifying. Oh my god, we made it. Another GSH, okay. No upgrades, but hey, whatever. Free is free. It's a Glock mag. Was that MP5? And another Glock. Yep. Okay, now the worst part. The absolute worst part of this. Okay, guys, we're just gonna camp in here tonight, because there's no fucking way I'm... 
fucking doing that. Well, <sighs> yeah, we're 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 not we're done. We're done in here for the night. <sighs> Cause it's just like you know what? That's ter absolutely fucking terrifying. I do not want to keep doing that. I despise doing that walk past. But this will be a run that has gives us a lot of money. So. Okay, I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. You guys are awesome. We will, uh... So remember, we're going to be back on fucking... <sighs> Sorry. I, I'm bad with heights. So, we are going to be back Tuesday with our raid stream. Wednesday with another raid stream. And then Friday back to normal. Again, guys, do not feel obligated to come down. It's all good. I am not going to give anyone shit about that. But... I appreciate it if you do. So, you guys have a great night. Thanks for coming out. And I will uh, hopefully see you Tuesday. Take care, everyone.